Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I make videos about photography, videography, video editing, and things like that. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure to stick around. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my camera collection. So the first camera I want to show you is my GoPro Hero Black 8. Hero 8 Black? Um, 8 Black. Okay, so here it is. It's very tiny and it has the little wings that pop out so that you can attach accessories. So I have a few different accessories. I have this one I actually just got. It came with the tripod that I'm currently using. It's just so that I can attach my GoPro to a tripod, which I can't believe I never thought about that. I always use, hold on. I have this little GoPro tripod. It's like a selfie stick and then it's also, a, it's also a tripod. So this is what I always use to film with my GoPro, but now I can actually attach it to a real tripod. I will sometimes use it for vlogging because I have an attachment in my car so I can just put it in my car. I've photographed a couple weddings and done the videography, but instead of doing like a lot of like camera work for the videos, I usually just set up my GoPro to film weddings, which does the job. I also use it for close-up shots of things. Like this video, for example, how I'm showing different cameras, I would normally use this to do like shots of, because of the image stabilization, but I probably will use my new lens to do that for this. Who knows? I use it for time lapses too, because it's like a smart time lapse thing. Time warp is what it's called, and it is just, Oh, I love it. So anytime you see any time lapses of me driving or something like that, that's this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my new GoPro attachment and put this on the tripod to show you my next camera. So the camera that I use for most of my videos and photography and everything is my Canon Rebel T6i and I currently have the Canon 10 to 18 millimeter millimeter wide angle lens on, which I just got. And I also have my road mic plugged in because the rest of this video is actually being shot on this camera with this lens. So this camera has the flip out screen, which is super helpful for me when I'm taking photos because I'm so short, I can lift it up and then have this like down and angled so that I can see what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this camera. There's really not a whole lot to say other than I just, I mean, it does the job. I use it every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to this camera so that we can take a look at all the other ones. Next up is my DJI Mavic Mini drone. Here is the drone. I have had quite a time with this drone. Actually, this specific drone hasn't done a whole lot. It's been to South Dakota um, and flown through Ardmore, which is a ghost town. But other than that, I had an identical one that got stuck in a tree, and I have a video all about that. It was quite the adventure. But luckily, I had a protection plan on it, so I was able to just get a brand new drone. I have the controller, all the accessories. I bought the Fly More Combo, so it comes with a bunch of accessories. I use my drone for aerial shots. Really the point of me getting a drone was because I want to get my drone pilot's license and be able to do commercial drone work. So I started off with like a mini drone that is under the um, weight of when you need to be licensed. So, or when you have to register it. So I am using this to get practice flying and everything. And then I'm going to take the test to get my drone pilot's license and buy a bigger drone to do real estate photography. Okay, now we're going to get into some filmy things. So the first film camera I have. So here is my film camera. It is a Minolta XD11. And this was given to me by my uncle and he actually used this when he was in high school. Um, to take yearbook photos. And I have not actually used this yet, but I did just get film for it. So um, that is going to be another video coming up of me testing out this film camera and comparing it to my DSLR. 
So I really don't have much to say about this yet <laughs> because I haven't used it, except for the fact that it is um, the most like sentimental camera that I have, and I'm so excited to have it and to use it. And he gave me like this whole case that has different um, accessories and things. So I'm very excited to get started with this guy. Okay, next camera that is kind of filmy, well it is, is my Polaroid Now camera. This was a Christmas present from my husband this year and I have used it a little bit. Again, I haven't used it a whole lot just because film is so expensive. But I do have a few packs of film and I want to do like a fun project with this but I don't know what it's gonna be yet. So right now it's just kinda, I've just used it for a few like small pictures here and there. I took it to Colorado with me, took a picture of Pikes Peak. I don't know where that is. All right, and the last camera I have is my iPhone XS camera. And yes, I'm going to include this in my camera collection because the camera on the iPhones is really good and a lot of the video that I take I end up using my phone. I also use it to take my thumbnail photos so portrait mode on the iPhone is just the it's the bee's knees. That is my little camera collection. I would love to hear about the types of cameras that you all are using so if you want to share, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what cameras are in your collection and what you think I should do going forward. I'm really looking at getting another DSLR as a, um, well, to use and then have this one be a backup camera because the screen is kind of wonky now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.